You think you like talk to me like, oh hey, <laughs> oh hey. What <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I seek entrance, my good sir. Oh, shit, Thoughts. I normally try and do a joke here, but I'm just gonna play it straight this time. So I stream Skyrim Challenge Runs over on Twitch. This is just a cut up highlights video of that challenge run. If you'd like to watch the entire challenge run, feel free to go over and follow me on Twitch. Um, I have a VODs page, but unfortunately I just don't have the internet speed to be able to, you know, consistently upload those, uh, VODs. So, you know, come over, hang out with me over on Twitch, talk shit. Don't do that, actually. You know, I have enough people to talk shit. If you want to come talk about Skyrim or other- I love talking about video games in general. Feel free to come over and, like, say g'day. For this run specifically, it was vampire only. I tried to only use vampiric abilities and vampire spells, specifically light armor as well. It's because, you know, vampires use light armor. I didn't use any weapons. I tried to do a werewolf version of this, which I did do, but... It was kind of boring, to be honest with you. I can do it, but like, it was practically just an unarmed run. You know, if that makes sense, so... So, basically, I'm gonna run over to Broken Fang Cave and try and get vampirism straight away. You've got to tell them, we work with you! And then I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do the Dawn God quest line until I get the Vampire Lord form, and then we'll complete the game. Empire love. Oh, I'm just... Vampy, vampy boy man's guy dude thingo. Man, no, I can't go going. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It was nothing. Carry on. Nothing. Carry on. Oh shit, is that a dragon, dude? It's not a dragon, it's actually a weapon, just saying. Lucky, okay. lucky. Okay. Okay, but no one wants to have that talk. No one, want, no one wants to have that talk. I'm gonna say that I'm only allowed to wear light armor, just because vampires in Skyrim only seem to ever wear light armor, right? Light armor and clothing. Um, I'm not gonna get married to Yasoda for this. I think I'm just gonna run immediately over to Broken Fang Cave, and let the vampire in there suck on me, dude. Um, just to get the vampiric ability. The, so I can suck on other people, and then I'm gonna use that to go and try and get Serana. I might, you know, it might be worth marrying Yusolda just to get 500 gold so that I can use that in order to, um, get a follower to get through that place. Because especially the, the hounds, like the, the, the death hounds at low level, those things are actually pretty hard to deal with. I'd be worth marrying this woman, not for love, but for money. Right, this is a video game. If you're marrying- if you're marrying for love in a video game, like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't help you. But the trick is with my, um, challenge run videos, is that, um, if I don't die, then it's- then it becomes permadeath. Because it sounds better. But if I do die, then it's no longer permadeath. That's how my videos work. <laughs> That's how my videos work. I'm just- a little, a little trade secret for you. Say you woke up in Skyrim as any character you ever created, your choice, and didn't need to deal with Alduin. What would you do with your life? As any character I've ever created? See, this is gonna sound really boring because I don't do the role-playing stuff. Because, like, I just, like, make, like, character builds and stuff, you know what I mean? I feel like this would be, like, such a good question if I was, like, a role-player. Do you know what? Unironically, this is, okay, this, <laughs> this is gonna sound really stupid. Um... I once did a build where I just played as a lumberjack, where all I did was I dressed up as a lumberjack and I just cut up wood. And um, as dumb as it sounds, I feel like if I was ever to be in Skyrim, I would probably just be that lumberjack character. Just walking or just humbly going to my mill, chopping up the, chopping up the firewood and everything. Going back home, spend it with my wife, spend the night there, come back out, chop up some more firewood, you know what I mean? It sounds boring, but like, I can see it. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, Glamour Shucks, thanks so much for the follow, I appreciate it, Gamer. 
when Doom Eternal and like Animal Crossing were coming out the same day and all those memes were coming out, honestly, I loved it so much. I played- I, I actually- I actually started playing Animal Crossing for the first time the other week. Um, I'm not big on it. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not big. It, it's okay. I- dude, I've never played a single player game that is so big on like waiting, dude. You know what I mean? It feels like those shitty phone games where it's like, oh, you've only- you've got like 15 stamina. And you've done three missions. Come back in four hours when your stamina's come back, right? It's like, what do you mean I have to wait until tomorrow for this building to finish, like, upgrading? Like, what do you- what do you mean? It's good to still see Scar. I'm still going in 2024. I'm still- listen, I'm dra- listen, I don't care if I'm gonna drag it along. You know, like, face first through the dirt. I don't care if I'm gonna drag it along face first through the dirt, Maddie. I'm doing it, bro. How you doing, gamer? Welcome in, dude. Bro, one okay, one shotting the bandits and all that kind of OP. Kind of OP. You know what? You know, if I just stay at level one, maybe like Vampire Lord, unironically, would just be like completely broken, and I'm just gonna be able to like walk through the game like this. Like, if I just stay at level one, like, how busted is this gonna be? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it would be a mistake for them to make a Skyrim 2. They need to make the Elder Scrolls 6 and move completely away from this region. I don't see them coming back to Skyrim, I'll be honest with you. See, okay, here's another interesting thing, because I actually think that the Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be multiple regions. Right? Like, my, like, I think it's going to... I, I, I just, I don't know why, I just feel like it's gonna be like two, like two or three regions, you know? My, my guess, like, I wanna see like, I wanna see like Hammerfell and High Rock together, that's what I wanna see. Come here, Arvel. Come here, Arvel. Come on. Oh, I can't loot things while I'm in this form. Son of a bitch. Did you guys hear, like, okay, listen, I love Todd Howard, I do, okay, and, like, I'll even go as far as to say that, like, once again, I think anyone who says that Starfield is bad, are uh, delusional, right? It's not a bad game, it's just mid, right? It's just mid. Media, disappointing, sure, but to say it's bad, I think you're an, I think you're a lunatic. But, like, did you guys hear Todd Howard's, like, reasoning for, like, why people didn't like it? And he's, like, <laughs> he's, like, we think it's... We think it's too different from what you've seen from us before. It's like, Todd, that's... No. No, Todd, that's that's not it. That's not it. It's like, it's... It, Starfield was too unique. <laughs> no, Todd, no. No, 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 that's, that's not the lesson here, Todd. That's... That's not the lesson, my guy. That's not the lesson. But Alpha, I'm pretty sure... Like I said in... There's tons of YouTuber viewers that have 1,000 hours in this game. They know better than you. True, dude. True. Um, actually, I have 1,000 hours. I stand by it, bro. Like, 1,000 hours in Skyrim is, like, the baseline amount, right? It just feels, like, normal to me, right? If you've been playing Skyrim since 2011, you should have 1,000 hours in the game. Right? I stand by it. Like, 1,000 hours at this point, considering Skyrim is, like, almost 13 years old, is genuinely a normal amount of playtime. Right? Like I said, that's like, that's like 80 hours a- dude, you know what I mean? Like, it's like 80 hours a year. Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragon I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why everyone keeps using it as like a bragging method. I feel as though the only people that will have like played through Sky more than me are the speedrunners. Normal players and people that just do like normal runs and stuff like that. No chance. But yeah, the trick is to, to- if you want to level up, like, vampire and werewolf forms easily, what you do is you start the Civil War quest line. When they send you to take over a base, change into werewolf or vampire lord, and then just kill your allies, like, co like, constantly. Because they spawn infinitely. Don't- like, you can kill, like, you can kill, like, the, um, the enemies too, but they don't matter. Okay. Where are you? I heard my own 
Please, I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you any? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rollindale will ask the questions. None of that should have... I... Don't... I don't know, chat. That was so weird, dude. Holy man. Uh, I can go and get Esper now. Do I do? Uh, I think I do. It's quite annoying that there's some people in Skyrim are set to essential and I know there are mods to turn it off. Not really. Not really, no. It doesn't bother me that much. Just cause like, you know what I mean? I, w I would rather have characters set to essential than like, you know, having someone that's like integral to like completing the game, uh, like, get killed by like, some accident. Do I think that Skyrim has an over-reliance on essential characters? Yes. Um, do I have a problem with characters being essential? No. I think there are a lot of characters that, like, could just be killed off. Uh... And replaced by, like, other methods of completing- like, for example, I'm sure that there are a bunch of characters that you should be able to kill and then their related quests should just be, like, Looking for a journal or a note written by them that tells you the information you wanted to know. Can I help you? Can I help you? But yeah, don't worry, you're all good. You just play at your own at your own at your own pace. Pretty things much for tier one, bro. Can you beat Skyrim with just bread? No. No, you can't. Well. <laughs> you know what? You, you you know what? Could I beat Skyrim with just bread? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest. I think I could. And I think that might be a future video. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I could. I think I have I think I have that dog in me, you know what I'm saying, chat? I think I have that dog in me, you know what I mean? I think I could do it, dude. That'd be so random, XD. Ban him. Get him out of here. Unless he's like an unless he's like an like a mid 2000s like emo girl dude, ban him. Which I'm um, from what I know of Josh, he's probably not that. <laughs> from what I know of Josh, that is probably not what he is. Thoughts. I thought, dude, I thought when I went to an actual place that sold actual tacos, that if I got spicy tacos, it'd be spicy, and they were sort of just normal, dude. They were just normal, they were just normal ass tacos, and I'm just like, oh, okay, well, sure, I'm glad I didn't ask for mild, I guess. Like, I don't know, what, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. What's good, B-Bun? How you doing, gamer? Hey, guys, what if we had been in the market sector? We're currently dominator. Ah, uh, we're currently dominant. And just as it's about to... I forgot to pull the thing over. And just, and just it's about to become insanely profitable and gain mainstream acceptance. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <bro. laughs> Dude, I put, listen, in my head, I was trying to think about what do I have to do? Like, uh, while I was reading that, I'm like, I need to manipulate my way up the stairs. And when I get to the top of the stairs, what do I do up here again? Do I need to talk to the guard? Do I need, or can I just pull a lever? I do, then I jump down and talk to the dragon. Oh, I didn't do either of them. I'm going to go back up there and talk to the... Listen, it just led to me, like, butchering everything. I apologize greatly. There was a lot, go there was a lot going through my head while I was reading that. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Uh oh. It's 
I really should have turned into a vampire. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Alright, has anyone ever been a vampire lord in Sovereign Guard, by the way? Because, like... I don't know if everyone's gonna turn aggro on me during that fight, and I'm- I have- I didn't think about that up until this point, and I'm low-key kinda scared now. I mean, like, I could just, like, not turn into a vampire lord and it wouldn't be a problem, but... I don't know. How many hitchhikers you have imprisoned in your pit hole? Like, Joe Dirt. Um... Like, at least zero. At least. Hey, son! You look like a bitch! You think you like, talk to me like, Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> oh, what do you do? I seek entrance, my good sir! Thoughts? Throw that bread. I'm not even gonna throw it, I'm just gonna eat it. I'm gonna use it for sustenance. By what right do you request? I requ ah. It's been too long since last I faced a Is Alduin aggroed on me? Oh, okay. I soon the make the oh my god oh that stagger that stagger rate is rough dude if he hits me with that finish him bro that stagger if he hit me with that stagger rate I was getting like I was getting donked on dude it's a fully serious Christian mod but the Jesus companion is just alpha talking in his normal voice with his normal personality <laughs> What are you trying to say? chat? How do you know I'm just not the modern day Jesus? How do you know I'm just not- how do you know I'm not modern day Jesus, alright? I'm here to see if like your sins are worth dying for and honestly I think you're a bunch of twats. Just like Jesus said. Uh oh, I can't actually- <laughs> Just like, remember I just scampered in- oi, 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 Yep! Cannot loot him. Or should some boy my Yeah, I will say it is it it's kinda lame we can't loot Alduin, right? Like I feel like Alduin should just have like a loot pool of like just like a bunch of random high tier like stuff. Like going from everywhere from like Ebony up to like Daedric and Solarum. You know what I mean? Just ran just random pieces with random enchantments on them or some shit like that. It does feel kind of meh to like kill the final boss of the game and then like get nothing for it. Like yeah, you get like a shout from like Sun or whatever, but I mean like, you know what I mean? To put in all that effort, finally kill the big bad of the game and it's just like, well that's done I guess, you know? When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship that you join. Oh yeah, this, this, is, the, this is the face of someone I'd love around here, just being a chill dude. Oh, hey. 